<laughs> Let's start with that. It's it's hot. Don't bury the lead. Pat's heating up. Let me mm. find it. <laughs> or it call is. Frank. Get that out of the way. All right, while we're looking. The most successful wash today at well.com. Who? Frank? That's Pat? Hot. Yeah. Let's take it off. No. Yeah, there's a lot of heat. Do you feel it? Oh, my God. Look, Look at him blushing. <laughs> he really is. There oh it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is a big birthday week, Alex. Uh, it's huge. <laughs> How do you yeah, get rid of those 40, two? I mean, uh, 41. Uh, he's 41. He's 41. You don't want to see that ad? No. He can play 45. I don't know how you get yeah. rid At 41. He's still good hair. He's got good hair. God, it does. He does. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Can you forward that to me somehow? Sure. Are you excited, yeah. Pat? Yeah, I'm very excited. Do you have a showbiz chubby? <laughs> I, do. I made an online uh, publication with Joe Nunez, who probably... Probably made some money on me selling me those tickets. Let's be honest. <laughs> do, you, do you do you take any kind of blame in the fact that they lost that game? Uh, no. Okay. No. Some people uh, are Hawks trying to Hawks game tonight. Go Hawks. Go Just Hawks. Get that out of the way. Yeah. And let's also go with uh, we're we're not LA fans, right? No. God. No. Kings. Or any, I like the Dodgers. I like the Dodgers. I sort of have a soft spot. Well, I have a beautiful Hello. ballpark. I'm not really a baseball fan. Let's say that. Know. Frank. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you uh, can you give me your uh, what's the what's the bet for tonight? Well, um, Jesus, they're five and a half point favorites. Miami's at home. Yeah. What? Uh, but they're tired, aren't they? I don't know, but you know, you, 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 know, you want to wait for a split to happen, but if you just want to bet this first game, I got a bet. Uh, Thank you, Matt. What are what do the guys out east say on the first I game? My, I gotta call my brother. And, and Blackhawks too. Don't forget Blackhawks. Ask him about I'm, Blackhawks. I'm, you don't know any. You know, you know they're gonna find out how they get during the year if they played each other and all that. They played twice. They played twice. Spurs lost both happened. games. Spurs, Spurs lost both games. Spurs lost both games. First game. The big oh, fuck. The big the big <laughs> the big three didn't play in the first game. Uh, I don't know. I gotta steal the, the big Miami. First game. Okay. And what's your pick for the series? Oh, I don't know. I want to see if the split comes, you know. Okay. The first two games, then we'll know. That's, part of, the games, That's uh, part of the rule. What's the split? The if, if, new, the, uh, if the San Antonio. Team, go ahead. But if the, the split happens. Won, well, what's the split the thing again? Games during the season. You know? Loses, you always bet them the next game. If they split, oh. then I bet the guy that had the you best record. Miami. Three to one. They never do, right? Right. Yes. They, they, you know, you, you know, you know, you know, come back down home three to one. I don't think so. They're gonna win a fucking game. All right, that makes sense. All right, I'm All gonna right. be so good with a world class pool tonight. All right, uh, Blackhawks. Right. Take okay. care, Blackhawks. Tell Sly I said hi. Okay. All be, right. Be good, buddy. Right. I'll talk to you. Bye. He made his appearance. He did. He made his show. He, he, Frankly, it, Pesh. Had he known that I was here, he would have yelled at me. So it would have all worked does out. Does he scare you? No, he no. just hates me. Oh, he does? He doesn't hate him. He did remember your name at the bar the other <laughs> night. The other surprised. night. That was great. Thank you. It shocked me. Um, but he doesn't understand the format. It's 2-3-2. Two, two. He has an amazing gift to alienate people, yeah. Frank. <laughs> what would they he do? is not led by a lot of people. The split thing works with the 2-1-1-1-1. With the, with, the, with the two, one, two, one, one. one, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, Film he, he, school idiots like yourself, oh, Matt yeah, Belknap. I know. Okay. <laughs> Frankly, Pesh. Biggest Emerson pet peeve. College. <laughs> Frankly, I love Pesh. that. Yeah. I love when he picks on the film school. Yeah, he's not I a do. fan. <laughs> but he, but 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 he does know his movies. There's, I, I mean, I can't, yeah. I can't deny that. And he has some good opinions. He's got some bad opinions, but he knows movies. Whatever. He's not here. You he didn't just invite him. I love you, Frank. I love you, Frank. Let's move on. The Drifters was a great movie, or no? It was The Searchers. He made me watch and. You know what I didn't have the balls to say to him in face to face is I think the searchers is incredibly racist and like the it, racism of the movie it is completely ruined. I cannot watch it. I cannot oh, I enjoy it. I haven't seen it. In a while. What, what, what was racist when he kicks the lady down the stairs? <laughs> well, that or, might be that's or, misogynist. <laughs> oh, or when it's all just the, very. It's it's just it depicts Indians yeah. as savage. And then the woman soiled once she went with a uh, uh, Indian right. guy. I'm and not then, saying I'm not saying that maybe wasn't how it was it didn't exist. in the Wild yeah. West, but they don't they don't uh it's not a progressive uh 
depiction of yeah they're pretty much on board with how it was i think the, yeah. the filmmakers but we're not saying it wasn't historically accurate uh no i wouldn't go that far i just there's something it, it, and i i granted i saw it as a, when i was a hypersensitive teenager um <laughs> I went to a very politically correct school, and so I was, I was highly We visited. I think you'd hate it more. <laughs> okay. I, I just thought it was boring. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. He was a great you know, filmmaker, Mr. Ford, plus coming yeah. from the si- uh, silent movies. But the, my point was the ending. In two seconds, he goes from shooting her because she was with a buck and she was ruined to lifting her up and taking her back. Into her. And I'm like, that's too quick. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like, go ahead and shoot her. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> That's what they did in the book. You read the book? Pat, who's here Uh, with us today? Uh, We're very lucky to have uh, Matt Walsh. What? Yes. Thank you you for having me. I'm honored. I'm a big fan of the show. He came down from the the the, uh, hill to see this train wreck happen. Long time listener. (laughs) You're the the one? I've heard them all. I've heard them all. Uh, Great show. Love it. (laughs) One of the founding members of... uh, The Walsh family. (laughs) Walsh family and uh, Men at Work. Second funniest Walsh. What was the uh, the, uh, group with Eddie Furman and the gang? Department of Works. Department of Works. Very groundbreaking. Great apartment. Okay, so I I want to get this out of the way really quick. Oh, no. I'm, I'm very intimidated. By, what? by who? Because I find Matt intimidating. Oh what? God, Alex! No, this, I don't mean to be. It's I don't, I don't think you are. Okay, but I do. I it, in in the in the time I've known you, that I've been friends with Pat. I mean, we we've seen each other a number of times. Not crazy regular. He doesn't Pat. know your name either. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> What's intimidating? But I just no because I just I'm intimidated for a few things. I think I think one, I I don't I I think that he might just look at me like oh, that's my friend's you know my brother's loser friend. Sure. Okay. Of course. That's a possibility. And then the other, no, and, that's only because Pat uses that term, but I don't think you're a loser. Well, he made me in this town. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't think of you as a loser, no. And then the other thing is... I think I, that's a joke. You've got your shit together. No, absolutely And, and that freaks no. me out. All right, I'll take it. I'm a little bit. Oh, well, why, why would it intimidate you? Because you don't have Because I don't have together? my shit together at all. And, and, we're, and we're the same age demographic. You know what yeah. I mean? Close enough and... You know, and I've, no always, and I've always maybe you're not ready for my advice. Maybe you see me as someone who's going to give you some good advice, and you weren't ready until this podcast. Don't ruin this. You're you're partially responsible for us doing this. I, I told you earlier, you should be a detective. You should be Jim Rockford. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that would be podcast. amazing. No, he told this told, is a career intervention. Why he, not? He told Pat. He told Pat that you can't go into this thing and you're in it, anything's going to happen. It's going anything for money. You just have to do it because it's fun and you have a good time with it. And 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 that probably finally got you convinced to do it i listen to matt yeah 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 uh, see i give good advice and you weren't advice. ready but i don't my <laughs> advice to you is become jim rockford yeah. <laughs> but what, was the, what was the other guy's name take a driving school rocky no What's oh the, uh stuart mcgill there it is something like stuart that something like that stuart margolis garner margolis stuart Mar- Mar- margolis Mar-Golis. angel 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 yeah but, uh, well, that's interesting that you're intimidated I, by well, Matt. And uh, I'm sure he knows your name and thinks of you as an acquaintance. Acqu- in passing. And yeah. maybe a friend of a brother. But uh, I, think I don't have any label on you. I enjoy hanging out with you. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any no, I, no, but I do. I just, we have I do. no problem. He's very cold to everybody, Alex. <laughs> no, 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 no. You put the wall in Walsh. I just don't that's think, the oldest joke in the family. I don't think we have. I just, we don't have enough I shared from experiences a to home. where, you know. Did you? Yeah. Oh, no, there's your Father joke. There it is. fix anything. That was the number <laughs> but, uh, one joke that got the, the Chicago Times review. But you feel comfortable around yes. him in the studio working yes. as a peer. Oh, Bill Knapp's great to have here as a... Yeah, jump off as a, as a I'm a fan. I'm but a fan. I, well, and for the longest time, I always thought, God, he's got he's got a great life. Yeah, you know, he does what he wants to do. He doesn't have to work some bullshit job he hates. He's creating. <laughs> he's well, you know what I mean. But he's yeah. but, but he but he's creating and he's enjoying life and doing and what he's he wants. Making, you know, he's making it. Yeah. Okay. And and and, and I well, like maybe that. you're uh, more envious than intimidated. Just, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I'm not saying you're jealous. Just like you enjoy his life. I, I, I wish I had the balls, the courage, and the talent to have that life. Wow. Yeah. All you're right. going to lose listeners with all this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you're going to stop listening? <laughs> that's, no. That's all we <laughs> <One more. laughs> 
<laughs> one listener. One listener. Just, All right. just, oh my god, have I been listening in a vacuum? I I imagine America is on board every time I listen it's to this. It's the world's least necessary podcast. Right, let's uh, Bear let's down change is topic there. and quit talking about Matt. No, <laughs> <laughs> we brought Matt here to talk to him, but I want to switch it. We'll go into his extended to your birthday? showbiz career. Not talk my about your birthday. birthday. No, no. On Tuesday was no, your no. birthday. Can, no, we, no. Do, can we do one thing? Can we check Pat's star meter just to see if it went What's up today? What's the heat level? Yeah. That Actually, to, that reminds me. I was gonna, Is there an app that can see if Pat's there is a Do you guys know about clout? Yes. Tell uh, me about it. Of course, it. You, know about, of course <laughs> I know about it. Explain it to you, me. You, you, you obsess over your Twitter followers. Clout is like a thing that like it sort of collects your Twitter activity and your Facebook, Facebook and everything and, and kind of puts it together into a score from 1 to 100 yeah. of like how influential you are in social media. Yeah. And so it gives you – it basically gives you a grade, mm. a, a numeric grade. I wonder if they measure that simply by m- mentions, huh? It, it's, it's a lot Everything. about yeah, yeah. M- mentions, retweets, uh, okay. how many friends you have on Facebook, how much – yeah. So It even tells you stuff like uh, it, it'll say a celebrity mentioned you today or something like that. Oh, I've never Some, seen that. No, it, it does all kinds of like – I only like okay. signed up for it just out of curiosity, but I don't. Uh, that's as far as I went with. I didn't go deep into the analytics. But it, it made me think of you immediately, just because you're you are so I tuned. Peaked. I peaked at fifty two. That's nice. That's you had a good. clout number of fifty two. That's pretty good. That is for, good. For a guy with next to nothing. That was pretty good. Yeah. And as of today, I think it's at fifty. I got seventy five birthday wishes on Facebook. Does that count? I'm sure that what's probably Pat's clout put you into I'll, the stratosphere. I'll tell you. Let me, let me is, does have... everyone have a clout? Yeah. No, everyone. I think you have to sign. Don't you have no, to? No, sign no, no. You you can you, you have a clout score regardless. Oh, but if you sign up, you get to see who your influencers oh, gotcha, are, gotcha. you know, and stuff like that. And they and they tell you what uh, what topics you're you're influential about and mm-hmm. different kinds of things like that. But mm-hmm. everybody's got a clout score. Talk, and really? I'll find out what Matt and Pat really? have. All right. I wanted to go a different direction only because, uh, Alex, you're a big Spurs fan. Matt, you're a big uh, sports fan. You're a Chicago guy. Uh, Chicago Bear Down podcast, reinvented Thank you, podcast. Thank you, BearDown.com. BearDown. And you're going to be <laughs> at the uh, just, just for Laughs uh, Comedy Fest in Chicago mm-hmm. next June week. June 12th, Wednesday Everybody night, 1030, tune Second in. Second City. And you're throwing out the first pitch at a Cubs game, I hear? I am. Who are they playing? I'm going to try. Yeah, I don't even know. Uh, they're playing your team, the Reds, I think. Oh, is it the Reds? I believe so. But anyways, I wanted just to talk about L.A. as a sports town. And I don't know if you drive in your car much, but I'm in the car all day in the sports radio. And it just bugs the shit out of me oh. that they're still talking about the fucking Lakers. It's, all, and it's Howard. I know Dwight it's a Howard great... This. It's a dynasty. I, I enjoy... You know what they built and everything, but it's like, oh my God, your Kings are in the Western Conference Finals, who won the Stanley Cup last year, and now we're talking about the Lakers. I think it's a, a response to the listener show. Oh, so you're talking about ESPN Radio, which and, they yeah. carry the Laker games on on the radio, and and they carry the Dodgers some, but yeah. but I think uh, Fox has some. Of so they're more interest. driven by think, their yeah, and I, and I think I just get the sense that they are responding to the the demands of the market a little bit. Like that's what people care about, it, w- for better or worse. They don't want to. But there's nothing on LA radio that I care less about than <laughs> ESPN seven ten Laker talk. Yeah, it is yeah. the most like <laughs> it's bad. toxically boring. Yeah, they went deep on Dwight Howard quotes, and Who's they were not going to be up. a Laker like, anymore. Stick around next 20 yeah, minutes yeah. we're going to have a montage of Dwight Howard's cl- uh, quotes over yeah. the last three months and there's a lot of controversy <laughs> about these so stick because around because you're not a Laker fan but most people listening are listening because they're Laker fans and they're hanging on every word but they're even I'm a, Bo- I'm a Bears fan and I don't go crazy about stats and I don't listen every day about the Bears even in Chicago right. I didn't I don't think I always liked it yeah but but, but Chicago deep but Chicago's a multi sport town. This town really only cares about the Lakers because they win or they're, 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 they're the, the most Dodgers, consistent thing. They another great they, with with, with the highest about LA. in baseball and they're sitting in last place. What I say what I'll say about there is real Laker fans in this town. Like they yes. they put stupid flags in their car and they're on board and they're for real. But yeah, that's why I like the Lakers. But after, of the real people. Well, I just think carts. it's like like there are sports towns. LA's not a sports town. Like you mm-hmm. can't call it a sports town yet. 
even though it's got USC, which is a really huge following, and they mm-hmm. have UCLA, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. But the Lakers, Dodgers, there's some hardcore Dodger fans. Sure. Kings, small market. They but it doesn't the, feel. Uh, Stanley Cup. Nobody gives a shit. It yeah. might be hockey in general, but especially in like LA. Like Pittsburgh is a sports town. Yeah. I think it, I, I always wonder, like, if you lived in East LA and you worked construction, you might feel the the weight of the, the fandom in LA more because I think we all travel in circles where people. I work in construction. Man. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> sorry. Like, so you, on. you don't feel the weight of that? You don't feel like everybody talks about the Lakers every day and they're like, they're dying to know what's going to happen with Dwight Howard's free agency. I mean, I think LA is like five cities. There's, you know, there's, there's so, it's so big and there's so many elements to it that I think show business is just inherently not interested in sports because they're more interested in show business. They're interested in being seen at the sporting events though. Yeah, but they That's don't, they don't really thing. care. It's not like they're not living and dying yeah. by th- their sport is following the industry. That's their pastime is like what's going on with, you know, I, Tom Cruise. I think mm-hmm. the big thing is, is that uh, like Laker fans, they feel entitled. That's their thing. That's why it carries on for 12 months a year because they feel like they should be the champions every year. They're, they're the uh, showcase mm-hmm. Uh, team for the league, yeah. I mean, it's even, well run. And any on. kind of, I mean, imagine if the Spurs were playing the uh, Pacers in the mm-hmm. finals; it'd be the least watched sporting event in the history of time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the Laker fans just jump on that more. They're like, "Look, you need us. We have to be there. We we're oh. entitled to be in the game. You know, we're the ones people want to see. We're the Yankees. Yeah, they are. And and well, when you spend the most, and and you're in yeah. a city where you you a lot of people feel like, well, who wouldn't want to live in a place like this? It's one of the cities in, in America that people yeah. feel like this is a this is a paradise kind of. Although I don't know, all right, here feels like well, that. yeah, and I don't know that like maybe it's just recent history, but in my mind, like the teams that come to mind in the NBA are like Miami and the Bulls, the Bulls. Celtics, Spurs. Knicks. Spurs would be up there. No, Knicks, Knicks have a strong, Spurs crazy New York there. strong. Mm-hmm. There's like. I don't think there's a Yankees in the NBA. Like I would argue that they're on le- more level playing field with these other franchises in the league. Like I think the Yankees, just by sheer size of market and just marketing and foreverness, History. they've been around forever. Yeah. Like yeah, they do dominate baseball, but I don't think the NBA is dominated by a single team in the way that baseball is. But but that's, I agree with that. Yeah. But that's what sports wants. That's what I'm saying they shouldn't be entitled. Sports likes dynasties. They 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 like the Patriots being good every year even though cuz even if it's just to hate them. They like the Yankees being good every year if it's just to hate them. And the same with the Lakers. And it brings the uh I mean, how would you feel? Everybody wants to knock the giant down. How terrible is it being the Clippers playing in that same arena and seeing those banners up in the rafters every night? Mm -hmm. That's awful. That's just that's an atrocity. As 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 big of of an abortion as a team as that has been for years, that's still got to suck. Sharing the field, yeah, and and it's their place. You should get. Of course, it is. You know, of course, it is. All right. Well, uh, I think I go Spurs. uh, Go Spurs. I hope they win. Well, who isn't rooting against LeBron? I mean, other than the people who jumped on them. I go back and forth on Miami. I like the Spurs, but I'm not. I, I'm not exci- or not excited. I don't believe that they're going to win. I hate Kobe more than I hate LeBron. I hate Kobe more than I hate the Lakers. That I mean, okay. I, I don't. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Like the Lakers. He is much. He is the perfectly hateable. Don't yeah. Yeah. for him. And I'm not like saying guy. he's not a warrior. No, I'm not that, saying he doesn't give everything. He's an incredible player. Not taking that and, away at all. I just don't think he's. Yeah. Maybe we know too guy. much about Kobe. Like, no, I just Jordan don't. wasn't a great human being. Oh no, there, awful. There's people who no, say that, but exactly, he was hidden away from us a yes, little more. But he never choked anybody. <laughs> no, well, probably maybe he not. He might have. He didn't give maybe it. Maybe not. He punched Steve Kerr in the face in a practice once. I was talking about the ladies. He didn't give it to her Greek style. That though. doesn't bother me on the court. <laughs> Does it? No. In no. a practice, <laughs> no. punch your That's teammate. Don't hit a lady. Can't That's hit a passion. woman. Terrible. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Jordan had his own bus, too. And he, I think he had players or no. He, he had his lawyer with him on the road. And if any ladies came in, they had to sign some paperwork. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. For reals. Not wow. as, maybe not like David Falk, his agent, right? But I think there was a <laughs> somebody hanging out like with a legal. Paralegal. Oh hi! Before you, <laughs> no, wow. I don't care what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Just sign. Just yes. Protecting non disclosure brand. Non disclosure uh, contract. Yeah. And here's wow. a free box of Jordans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> totally worth it. Yeah. Are you going to be in sh- uh, Chicago June twelfth? Why? What's going on? Bear Down Podcast. Yeah, yeah. You might have to do Derek Cheater. Oh, my God. Breaking oh, news. Guess who we have. I, not to plug a show inside your show. Can I do that, Alex? Of course. Yeah. This is better than clout? talking about the Lakers. Clout will go up. Did we find Pat's clout, by the way? I, I'll, I'll find it. Oh. you just, you got to get people to listen, Matt. Go ahead and go. plug all you want. Go. This is important. TBS. We have... Uh, 
to Marv the Levy, the Buffalo Bills coach, who went to the Super Bowl four times in, in a, a row, row. In a row. And never and won. lost. Never won. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow never won. Never won. Wide right. Uh, exactly. Buffalo 66, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, he's choosing to do our show, and he lives in Chicago. Then we have Anthony Spice Adams, a very funny defensive tackle who makes videos on YouTube. Oh, I, know. I remember. And he's actually him. got a good sense of humor. Like he made a dumb video about the day of his retirement because mm-hmm. he's kind of a nobody player. Mm-hmm. In he's very good, but he's not a star. Yeah. And so he made it as if the press was really concerned about him retiring on that day, <laughs> which is very funny. <laughs> So and wait, then, you're getting, oh no, this I is saw confusing. That. Yeah, that's a great video. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw yeah. that video. They did it on Sports Nation or something. Yeah, ESPN. it got picked up by yeah. it was a NFL. great video. Yeah. And, and ESPN. Yeah, you have a lot of characters on Bear Down, like yeah. people playing, uh, you know, Brett Favre. But you're saying you actually have the real Marvel. Yeah, he's we've never had that. a real. He's saying that. <laughs> no, we've it's never really? had a real person. We've never. And then the, we have Steve McMichael. No way, Mongo, Mongo, a Super Bowl bear. Who got him? Wow, uh, Brad Morris. Wow. That Huge. is awesome. Yeah. And you it's gonna be you and Horatio Sands. And Joe Nunez. And Joe Nunez. And then Brad Morris. Okay. And, Pat oh, Brad, Walsh. and Pat Walsh. And Pat and now Walsh. Pat Walsh. Drive Drive it. It. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Awesome. This is exciting. There might even be a Morgan Walsh cameo. Oh nice. <laughs> Maybe Claudia Morgan. As Claudia's Claudia's in. Late night. Claudia's in. Oh my god. As Brian Hockey's uh, estranged wife. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, nice pull. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Maybe because the premise is she's uh, living in a halfway house for the honey bears. Mm. <laughs> and it's Horatio playing his honey bear. <laughs> right. Holly and Sanderson. Claudia, Holly, very good. Man. Nice and, and Morgan, who could be the Ed Hoculi ex. Oh, that's genius, Alex. I no, no, wow. Brian, no. He's talking about when, when uh, Brian Hockey, when, when uh, uh, Morgan played Lee. his wife. Yeah, yeah. That's he was the replacement Ron husband. Yes. He was the replacement right, husband. Right. Yes, but if we kept her as that same person, and somehow she yes. ended up in the halfway house for the former cheerleaders <laughs> yeah. Love it. of the NFL Bears. He's he's <laughs> that Brian Hockey like character is he kills it every time he's oh, on. Oh, he's so good. Him uh, and Warner Horsehawk. This is those pardon me interruption, but this is really important. Do I still have that free room downtown? Yes. Okay, good. I go have on. to go down and get the keys Tuesday. But you guys aren't going to stay down there now if Morgan's coming down. No, you don't, got the you got the kids. Okay, the good. Kiddies. Go on. This is really exciting. <laughs> this is, it's getting better oh, for yeah. you, Wash. Pat's Free getting room. my hotel room in Chicago. Just for laughs. Oh, my God. Make Free sure you day. have plenty of disclosure uh, documents. Uh, yeah. Get I Jordan's will, lawyer on that. I will have all the ladies sign. You should print before. up that article that you were in just to have him <laughs> hand out. <laughs> and your yeah. cloud score. In your Chicago. Chicago. You should have a cloud score shirt. Show. You guys read, uh, you guys read Red Eye. <laughs> I'll just get that T-shirt with the three of us. Put it on there. Yeah. Ooh. Just drop your cell phone. Oh, it's just my cloud score. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I should have been wearing my hawk shirt. That's why they lost. But go on. How, That's. Thank you for noticing me, Matt. How sure. did you end up starting that to begin with? Bear down. What? Bear down. Uh, I listened to uh, what was on the internet podcast wise for the Bears, and it was terrible. There was nothing, <laughs> and I thought I would love to do that, so I did that. And you always knew you wanted it to be kind of like a, a improv sketch character. No, driven. it's just like the laziest form of a show <laughs> that could possibly happen. Like when it started, it was pr- almost it was almost a real it was straight. Show. Yeah, it was just talking about the bears very earnestly. <laughs> I enjoy it when it goes anywhere. Yeah. like I truly don't uh, really like too much planning. Okay, okay, but it's it's almost all character now. I mean, I feel yeah, like that's, that's the best part. When of people it, yeah. ask me about it, I'm like, well. It started as a show about the Bears, and now it's it basically what is a, it? A, an improv comedy show that, that spoofs sports talk radio. Okay. That's how I put it. Okay. And hey. I was like, wow, Matt really knows the show. And then it just occurred to me that he's there every show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <he's> <laughs> Alex, <laughs> you listen now? Yeah, I listen, oh. starting uh, last season I did. And then I went back and I listened to all the best of, the, the three that you had before that, so I could get a feel for what the characters were and stuff like Anthony that. Anthony Spice Adams, a big fan of the Derek Jeter. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm working on an Urlacher. Yeah, you need an Urlacher <laughs> for the retirement. Yeah. I'm going to spend some time with my daughter. I think you got to go Jeter. You can do whatever you want, but okay. I think Jeter's the Jeter? move. Jeter? All right. But get a Yankee hat and just sunglasses so you could possibly be Derek Jeter. Okay. Because there's going to be an audience. 50? No. Oh, like, um, Pat, just live. Wear, yeah. Don't even worry what you look like. Just okay. have your face covered. Yeah. Live in front of an audience, Pat. Wow. All right. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank Is, you. Again, another bone. Does he bone. get to go to the uh, Cubs game? With the pitch? Uh, I don't think he gets in on time. That's yeah, a Wednesday. I'll be there. Oh, are you going? I'll buy a ticket. I don't care. You got way. tickets? I'll I got take. tickets. I got oh, tickets. Are they free? Yeah. I'll take three. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and how does that work? They just approach that's you? That's how Pat does business right there. In that, well, that's his line. If it's, if it's free, give me three. <laughs> 
uh, uh, trademark, the trademark that. <laughs> Who's doing that for you? Right? Who's trademarking it for I'm you? I'm putting it out there to Matt. Would you trademark that for me? <laughs> I'm put actually it on, on the phone. U.S. Uh, trademark <laughs> office it, does website. This, does right this now? count as you know? <laughs> you can mail yourself something and it counts as a patent or uh, whatever. Oh, uh, this might literary. Count. Yeah, yeah. Literary. It's it's, that's the, the cheap first. way to do the uh, registering yeah. your. Uh, I just did script it. Or whatever. Boom. What was the one Phil Jackson? Or, tra- or no, Pat Riley. Three P. Three P. And that's a trademark. Yeah. he yeah. had yeah. for a so, few years. I think he's. I, I don't know. Still has. Those you run still out. Get I think. it? Oh, do they run out? No, no. I think they only run out like after seventy-five years or something. Oh, Is that yeah, right? He still got it. I don't know how it works oh, with like trademarks. Domain. I think that's more like copyright. But anyway, to use that word in language, you have to pay him. If you put it on a shirt. Like, okay. I think like you can say it. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how, how far can. it extends. Like anyway, yeah. It's Come okay. after us if you want that, right? All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please feel free to. If it's three, give me a three peat. No. If it's three, if it's free. Oh, if it's free, give me, give me three, three. peat. Trademark patent pending <laughs> Walsh. Pat three pending give Walsh. Me three. You tell me also is you uh you got you got a copyright. I got a million of them, but that's not what this show's about. But I'm really excited now about. Uh, Going back to Chicago and reinventing comedy, where <laughs> I gave Alex a taste of uh, Iowa West on the, Sunday night. The legend of that, Pat and, Walsh. That, I'm Except I'm not up. even on the wall. You're not like on the wall. And I owe. This was a question I had because because you know I'm looking around. We Iowa went to West. Beer Shark Mice. Beer I wanted Shark to show them the and second best group in comedy. Show. Yeah, it was. It was really good. Best space object worked uh, in the world. Holney. Holney. Oh, good. Holney. <laughs> good. It was great. But I'm, I'm walking around there and I looked at your. Uh, Oh, Your early team? No, no, no. I, I was looking at the schedule. I saw you were going to be there Tuesday. Do you want to talk to Mike Walsh? That's Mike. Do you want Is that? To... Go ahead. Put him, yeah, on. put him on. Another brother. All right. Hold on. Mike? All right. Hold on a second. This is my brother, Mike. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Is it decent? Yeah, it's good. Is All right. speaker? Yeah, you're, you're live on Pat's podcast, <laughs> frankly speaking, with Alex and Matt Belknap. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, it's the second bro. call from Walsh, brother. Uh, how Happy many? Birthday, Pat. Thank you. You're three days late. <laughs> have, you, have you recovered from your hangover yet? Uh, no, it's a birthday week. It's a uh, big party tomorrow. Call me Saturday. We'll see what happens. There, <laughs> there's gonna. And, All right, good, good. Um, how many tickets? You do you, in the studio now or what? Yeah, we're yeah. in the studio. We're gonna have to cut this short. How many tickets do you need okay. for the? Are you going to the Cubs game? Uh-huh. No. Okay. Not. How about the comedy Cubs. show? Yeah, I'm going to the comedy show. Ten thirty at night. How many tickets you need? Four. Holy shoot balls! <laughs> you can what? My podcast. If, if it's free, give me four. <laughs> I might be able to swing four. If you really, if you really want to bring four, I'll, I'll I could swing it. Okay. All right. Um, All right. Anything else? Yeah. No. Uh, we'll right. go Hawks, go Hawks, go we'll, Hawks, Mike. We'll talk later, yeah, buddy. We'll go to uh, dinner between the Cubs, the Cubs game in uh, Second City. Then you're buying. I got a nice spot for you guys. All right, sounds awesome. All right, all right. Take Peace. care, bro. The second Bear Walsh down. brother. Bear down, Bear down. Wow. Nice. The Who's second long show the podcast. Dick long Walsh show. or Mike Walsh? Dick Who's Walsh. better radio? Dick, Dick put Dick Frank put in his place. place. Dick, Dick put Frank in his place. Yeah. He's pretty sharp. Dick's better radio. That's what he does. Dick's but better always, radio than Mike. He's always on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But go on. Finish what no, you're saying. No, what I was going to say was. Okay. Oh, he was appearing. You were going to be there Tuesday. I saw you. You know, you have your Why pictures you up go? in there and stuff like that. Here was my question. Do you find it is, it, is it weird that you have UCB Theater here? Is there a competition? I think there is a, uh, sure, they're both businesses. So there's a competition, sure. But I don't think it's in any way uh, unhealthy. Like, I, I believe that we're better. <laughs> but I also love all the people that are at I.O., and okay. they do great work. And uh, it's all about the art, quite frankly. Like, you're just there to do it. And they're all to welcome to perform at UCB. Yeah, I have right? a lot of people who do both theaters. Okay. Other than Pete so Hulney, they're all welcome. <laughs> yeah, Hulney is not welcome at UCB. <laughs> so, but, but there's no, there's no, no you're it's not blackballed like, here. No, no, no. Other than Sharna? No. No. She still supports and loves you guys. She sort of does. She sort of She's does. She's the lady that started it, that okay. kicked us both off a team and didn't oh, wow. put my picture up there. But... <laughs> I don't hold anything. I've let it go. <laughs> so apparently you have it. And and what did you pull up, Matt? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I, f- I found Pat's. Uh, class wait one card. second. Oh, wait. wait. What it, but you learned that I invented it way back. with yes. Some of those people. Well, what? you you had already told me that. I was okay. already well aware. And you started first, right? 
Pat? Uh, no, no, I did. Oh, I know I did. Who he, started improv first? Dell. No. In, <laughs> oh, yeah. You in got our me family. at Players Workshop. In our family. Yeah. He, Who started he inspired improv me. first? Okay. Right. He took me to Players Workshop. I then started first. I brought him back and I said, hey, you should do this IO class. And that's where you met Besser. Am I right? Uh, I was there for a while. I met Besser outside of IO, I believe. Okay. But yes. All right. I believe I You're pulled Matt welcome. to IO. Did you? I think okay, so. Okay. You were doing stand up with him or something? Mm-hmm. Maybe. And then we met Adam McKay, and the rest is history. But go on. What right, did you Pat's, find, Matt? That's cla- uh, well, I, I don't want to interrupt. This is good stuff here. I like the sibling rivalry. Going oh, isn't it funny? It's no, he, he, he started. <laughs> uh, I moved to California first, though, Matt. He did. Oh, okay. He did. Okay, let's get that on he record. Did. Good. All right. Pretty good apartment. I'm slowly too. putting the pieces of the puzzle together on you, Pat. <laughs> I'm very petty. Yes. <laughs> you got it. You got it. By the end of this show's run, I think we, I, I, will I go in down. the audience, well, that certainly, but also we will, we'll finally understand what makes the me. full, the full man. <laughs> the rage. <laughs> uh, do you want to know your class sure. score? It's if thir- I have one. 39. That doesn't sound good, but it's a good <laughs> age. I don't know. I mean, like, think about it. Like if you, to, if you got a. If you took a pop quiz in school and mm. that, and they wrote, I failed. 30. <laughs> I failed. Yeah, but but then, you, you, but then again, so did Alex and I because we're both in the fifty. I'm at fifty. I'm at fifty seven. I don't tweet enough. He's a, he had to say he's at fifty seven. But you guys, are, I was just I was business. illustrating that I that, you know I'm I'm pretty pathetic too on there. Okay, <laughs> so I need to tweet more. Yes, and and respond more and put more stuff out there. Yeah, uh, I didn't get any response from my awesome tweet today. That Anyone? Anyone? Oh, it was. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, it was. It was a hashtag game. You play. Yeah. What do you, is that wordplay? What do you call it? I said uh, Benny and yeah. June Gloom, seasonal couples. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. No. No. That w- it wasn't. One Doesn't of your work. Best. Wasn't Benny one of your and June finest. Gloom. That's not yeah. bad. It's not terrible. Seasonal hashtag seasonal couples. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I understand that part. <laughs> well, you know, the June gloom is only this time of year. And Benny and June. And they're both retards, so they're not going to be together <laughs> long. <laughs> so they're not going to last long. So they're seasonal? Their relationship is seasonal? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. That, was, that was back of the room stuff. I, I oh. think you went too high. That was heady. Okay. Yeah. That, that was, was really heady. heady. Too hip so your universe? Tweets are smarter. Did, you, did you want other people to start tweeting other seasonal relationships? Yes. <laughs> That's you, really hard. Did you start that hashtag? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you started it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What should I have said? Johnny Depp movie no. couple or something? Well, I don't know. I'm not saying it's a... I think it's a great idea. I, I just don't know how... I don't know how participatory that could be. I thought be. you were playing along with one. You started no, that. I started it. Oh, that so makes it all I the, done all the better. Something other couple, right? Like uh, weather-related couples? I'm the learning. Much better. Okay. Yeah. Much better, yeah. right? All right. And you mm. still can't get the at, the at reply symbol right. I just that put Matt, it before that the Matt name. pointed out to you once. Oh, when do right. I do it? You, 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 you got to be a space. You have to between... put a space before the at, or else it doesn't see it as a screen as a as a oh name. Oh my god! Yeah, it's like if you're mentioning somebody, you got to space. Space. Yeah. Then at. Oh I'm goodness. writing, writing this it down, down folks. <laughs> no wonder the media internet this is going to boost this is, your clout. This has been like, my uh, through the roof. Twitter <laughs> education for the last five weeks. You, you should see him try and use that phone, Matt. It's the funniest thing in the world. Shut it. What do you mean? I thought oh, it was a tweeting? good phone. It's a good phone. It's a great phone. Oh, the tweeting is hard because I can't see the screen. But thank you guys for your help. That I spend would've... a lot of time on Facebook, I've noticed. Oh, he is. No, he, he does. He's a, Facebook Facebook guy. Guy. He's a Facebook guy. I'm yeah, a stalker. A stalker. But that should be tied into your cloud score, too. It is. That'll, that'll, uh, do you get a lot of people uh, friending Liking? you? And yeah, yeah. That'll help yeah. your cloud score. That's okay. Good. And if I knew how to use this Twitter thing, and then when you start a game, <laughs> and then make link it them. so people can link those accounts, so one goes to the other. The Twitter does go to the no, Facebook. Yeah, it does. Okay. No, it does post gotcha. on Not the other way, but all right. Well, I'm going to get my clout score up, and uh, <laughs> I will be tweeting about uh, being in Chicago and uh, being on stage. But uh, I digress. Let's get back to real showbiz. <laughs> This is this People. is what this is becoming real showbiz. In ten years, everything will be based on cloud score. Yes, be, you think be, it is valuable. Like, do you think a cloud uh, score is valuable? I I bet there are situations where people take that into account. Yeah, I, I mean, look at think so. like look at what like Rob Delaney has has built a so. career on on being uh, influential and and. Uh, successful on Twitter. We don't always yeah. have to bring up Rob Delaney. I do. Every <laughs> week he's on this show. <laughs> he's like the poster child for succeeding as a comedian <laughs> yes, on Twitter. Yes. yes, he is. 
If and like. how did that happen? He just knows the form really well. Like, is that, I, I think, I f- yeah, I think he just dedicated himself to it and, cool. and like works really hard and writes a lot on there and, and, and is good at writing one liners and short, you know, one forty character jokes. So uh, Alex has a full dissertation on it. Uh, <laughs> it's just dick jokes. <laughs> is it? I don't think okay. it's funny. All right. But by I me, mean, who am I to, you know what I mean? Are you intimidated by Delaney? <laughs> oh, he is a big, strapping guy. Oh, He's a very strong were, dude. Yeah, he could here. crush you like a <laughs> ant. Oh, God. He was just on Kevin Pollock's chat show this past Sunday. And uh, it's amazing how somebody who comes across so funny in, in, in tweet form and stuff like that can be a really like boring who Wait, Pollock but interview. You just said about Pollock? <laughs> First you said you didn't even yeah. like his oh, tweets. Now nice. you're saying like he is, Rob. he is a really nice guy. I like Rob. Oh, he, he, he like seems Pollock? like a great guy. Is he a good guy? Yeah, I'm, I do. You I'm don't not. care for him. You, have, you don't oh, yeah, care. You had right. a problem yeah. with him in yeah. Kansas City. Let's just stop it. Okay. <laughs> you brought it up. You brought you're it hurting up. your clout by yeah. bad mouthing people. <laughs> I love no, you Pollock, get in Twitter, Twitter wars and, and stuff like that. It'll get that you some clout. clout. Yeah, get on there and get Good. against right, uh, Donald Trump. Some, people love a, a, a fake feud, yeah. yeah. Uh, or sometimes they might not be fake. Drum something up on there about uh, Donald Trump or something. Okay. Drum something up about Trump? Yeah. <laughs> Tweet it. At Trump? Tweet space? Space. <laughs> and then space. the hashtag before the ad? Yeah, seasonal couples. Yeah, that's a, that was a great little thing when Danny Zucker, one of the producers of modern families was always yeah. just n- ripping on trump on on twitter and trump started responding to him and it turned into this hilarious back and forth where trump is just like your show's not successful you you you've never succeeded in show business your show because like i guess uh zuger was basically saying that 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 uh, the apprentice was not uh, he would tweet out the ratings for it right right <laughs> zuger would tweet out the ratings for it uh but yeah it's 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 good sport to watch that uh do you, happen do you like twitter matt or is it uh, necessary i like it but i i, tr- I tr- treat it basically like hopefully like a joke machine or a promotion machine i just try to th- do something i think is funny that could somebody could look at and maybe laugh and then i occasionally use it to promote but i don't necessarily troll but I, what i've been using lately is like on my regular feed just hitting up like time magazine and all these like cool news sources when they give you bite-sized news yeah i really like yeah. that because then i i got a bunch of them i follow now and i really enjoy that well, that's it's much I, easier than like scrolling through the New York Times and you're <laughs> right. And then you got to <laughs> like, uh, and then you got to turn it. It's like for some reason those are really good. But do you feel like you have the information? Because I like I'm constantly saying to my wife, "Oh yeah, like I saw a link about that story, but I don't know what the deal is at all." Like, so, I know something's going on with this, but I don't know what the actual thing is. That's what I think is. We're, we're becoming we're becoming a. a a race of people who know just enough about plenty yeah. of things to get themselves in trouble. Yeah. And that's yeah, how I feel probably about true. it. probably true. I know just enough about a lot of shit to lose an argument. <laughs> that's how I look And how did it. you learn that stuff? Just from just media? The, the, yeah, the, 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 the times we live in. Everything's so quick. The MTV kind of generation of what... I think it's quicker than on. MTV, to be honest with you. Well, it is now, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, that's, you know, growing up, that's what it started with was music videos and... Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden the internet comes along and porn and so you're saying the newspaper's dead. Oh my god! Find me a 20 year old kid who knows what a newspaper is. Okay. You know that'll be our next guest. So I yeah, certainly don't speaking. have like uh, landlines. That's gone. No. What? Yeah. And they don't have uh, cable. There was this article. I, I always ask the kids at the UCB theater like how many people don't get their entertainment from a cable box, mm-hmm. and it's like uh, it's like 40 high 40 percent. Yeah, almost yeah. half. We're the last – I read this article in like Time or something a while back that we're the last generation of people that know what life was like before cell phones and, and newspapers were still around and, mm-hmm. and the internet and things like that. All these kids these days – Blockbuster. They don't know any different. Yeah, <laughs> Blockbuster, Redbox. That's interesting, yeah. What, what can we u- can we use that for anything <laughs> to no. be the last generation <laughs> <laughs> at all? <laughs> to exploit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can well, we? One thing. The what is it? Interns. That movie with Vince Vaughn. Owen Wilson? The internship. Yeah. Internship. He was. I. I is saw it money? Movie. Huh? Is that movie I haven't money seen it yet? Is it oh. out yet? It's not out yet. Okay. Uh, he said something to the effect. Of, I think I told you that the I the new this. playing field in that it's digital and it's kind of anonymous or like ultimately the way the new economy sort of working random people can become billionaires in a way that's like leveling the playing field hmm. and he was saying why doesn't that apply to older people wow. like in a way if you figure out what the change is it is sort of a just universe or something like ageism doesn't necessarily uh, decrease your viability to earn in that world or mm-hmm. to succeed in that world because like think of twitter like i don't know i guess 
Well, let's Twitter actually itself. think about Twitter. Okay. <laughs> Go. Think about the CEO. You talk about the small world. Yeah. The guy who is the COO or EO is a friend of mine, Dick right. Costello from and Chicago. Mine. And, mine. and Pat's first. Probably Pat's first. Well, no, no. no. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Sure. Take but it. But I mean, just what you were saying about who could become a billionaire or uh, whatever and Twitter. And then here this guy is. Yeah. That you knew. Yeah, like a kind of a, I mean, very smart dude, but goofy comedy guy, funny. Yeah, he took improv yeah. with you guys, right? Performed oh, you told me that. Yeah, at the Annoyance yeah, Theater. Yeah, yeah Gary, really yeah. nice dude. Gary Lovely wife. And I, I recently saw something on Facebook. That oh, he did the, uh, Dick Costell is his name, did the uh, commencement speech at Michigan. That's and I think a lot of people yes. just yeah, yeah. Uh, shared that. That's oh. the link you sent me. Yeah. That's the link you sent me. It was me. pretty cool. I don't know, I'll have to look at yeah, it. Yeah, it was very good. But he had one thing about, I guess he started earlier than I thought, because. Yeah. And he was with Steve Carell, and I guess they bumped into each other. And, you know, Carell's like, well, I'm sorry, you know, it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> he said it to Dick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, the improv thing didn't work. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just randomly, boom, people go, and now Twitter, small world. Do you know where Twitter started, by the no. way? Pretty, uh, pretty Indianapolis. Uh, no, I don't mean physically. Oh. <laughs> I mean that they, the the people who started Twitter were working at a company called Odeo, which was a podcast uh, startup, and it was in around 2005, 2006. Everyone was thought that podcasting was going to be the next big thing, including me. It isn't. It is. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> okay. Still not. Oh. And, uh, Alex, good still choice. Not. Check uh, again. Uh, Check yeah. again on the oh, internet. Wait, let me see <laughs> if Cloud has anything to tell. Yeah. Podcasting. Look up What's podcasting. the podcasting score? <laughs> Film? 17? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Show. Let's just track his path. <laughs> Film school? Podcast? Go on. Yeah. Real, I'm batting a thousand. <laughs> The, uh, the these guys were they they were this company was basically started to to sort of uh, you know capitalize on the the perceived potential of podcasting and when that didn't work out these guys in the last days of this company Odeo they just started sort of hacking together this this uh, little micro blogging thing called Twitter okay. and then launched really? it out of that yeah wow wow. So uh, wow. that's interesting. So if only we had seen. Do they it. still own it or they sold it to somebody? Probably? Uh, I think they're still involved. I think it's still, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's still the, the, the founders uh, are still doing it. That's so. a very, like, and does Twitter make money? I don't know the answer to that. The, okay. I think people tend to think it doesn't really, but it has a lot of potential to. I mean, they're still trying to figure out how to monetize it because it originally was not. Well, all those promoted know, tweets and stuff. There's that, advertising stuff, yeah, now, advertising yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. I think it's it's more about just, like, just have this. Well, it's massive. an amazing time when, like, news organizations will speculate on. MySpace with a billion dollars. Like mm -hmm. in the old days, you would buy land or you'd buy a factory that made steel or you'd buy like. Right. So now you're buying this. I guess it's a service. Well, we don't we don't make right. anything. It's we a, don't make anything anymore. But the, yeah, of course, that is the new economy. Yeah. Totally agree with you. But I mean, I don't know. I think or some type of property, you know, um, like it's a, just, it's a digital know. property. I mean, yeah. the, the name MySpace was valuable because millions of people would go there every day. Uh, yeah. So it's like having a you know, a storefront in Times Square. So it's, yeah. it's, it's a good location, <laughs> but, yeah. but it's only as good as what you do with You've it. You've got a captive audience. Yeah. 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 Everybody's corralled in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's always weird with, with Twitter and even Facebook. Like how do you actually make money? You have millions of people doing something on there, but they don't necessarily care. You know, they're not going to pay necessarily pay you for it. Um, well, YouTube makes money, right? I don't I mean, know the answer to that either. Why would Google pay for that or whoever bought I that? I guess it probably does now because, yeah, because yeah, there's so much advertising. They ads on yeah. you. Oh, yeah. You know, and they can track it and say yeah. what the well, and, they, and now you can rent movies on there and TV shows. Right. And I did not know that. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah since crazy. when can you rent movies on YouTube? Been, but you, you can go it's on YouTube and, and about a year, I think. type in a movie, full movie, and it'll pop up. If it's, a, if it's on the site, it'll be like two ninety nine to watch it. Or you could just click on there and probably watch a shitty copy for free. <laughs> like, like 29th Street. Like 29th is Street. 29th on Street on YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. it? Full movies on Great it. movie. Great yeah. movie. You uh, should Matt, see it. Matt Belknap didn't think so. You should see what? it. Hello. Who's there? Come on in. Someone there? Is it, Frank? Is it a ghost? Go, 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 ghost. <laughs> the door just The door opened. might have just not been closed all the way. Uh, that was weird. Mm. It's like as soon as you said that I didn't like Frank's movie, the door opened and I, my heart stopped. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't hate it. You and didn't I've got the it. bad seat. I'll get shot in the back. Uh, 
<laughs> no, you've got you, you've got the most uh, clout. You I thought it. clout doesn't deflect. That's true. <laughs> what happens? I, should I, we should should we look up Matt's clout? Yeah, look it, obviously. And then I'm going to talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. Go, I'm going to talk. Say. I gave uh, 29th Street to my uh, parents when oh, I was wow. back there, and my dad watched. It. He goes, "I remember this movie," and uh, so he watched it again. My dad not doing that well, but he called me back and he's like yeah i saw that movie it was kind of sweet and i really enjoyed it and he's like hey i know uh that father in the movie reminded you of me and he goes i just want to tell you i was never into anybody for 10 grand and i'm like <laughs> yeah maybe not for a day but <laughs> you've had 10 grand out there many a time no i never i usually got even on the weekend well you had to bet more than 10 to get even <laughs> you told yeah. him that yeah Oh my what god! Do you think? What a great. Do you think, have you guys had that conversation a thousand times? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what a do you gambler think? Gambler explaining Daddy, that he doesn't. Daddy doesn't gamble. Oh, I'm sure he does. Yeah, yeah. It was funny. But I wanted yeah. to talk about the. How, how yeah. did you avoid Taft? I did a year. Did you? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. The family best business salesman the family sucked me. He was the first guy ever to make his draw the first yeah, year. First oh, wow. Ever. Unbelievable. Yeah. Really good. Some call him the Derek Jeter of uh, machinery moving <laughs> sales. And I got out quick. Got and out how, quick. how close were you to getting sucked in full time, though? I don't think I was very, yeah, I don't think I was very good. Okay. So, okay. How about glad. the time we went on a call when we were working together driving in your car and we'd run out of gas? I don't remember that. <laughs> up on 94, going to see. He had one of his good sales up in Gurney, northern uh, Chicago area. And we're going to make this yeah. sale. And it's a move to Phoenix. And so I'm like, I should help you with this. And then uh, we're driving up there for the appointment. We run out of gas. We're like an hour late and all sweaty. It was very funny. Cut to a month later when we have the job, we're staying at the Phoenician golfing. Yeah. It all worked out. Yeah. Maybe that's why Taft's not here. The, <laughs> the, the trip to Phoenician, the uh, Learjet I rented in Europe. The penthouse in Beverly Hills. Uh, the Koreans. Good times, good times. Okay, where were we? Where were we? I got, I got Matt's cloud score. Okay, 70. Wait, I'm going to guess. Okay. Oh, boy. Who cares? He's at 70,000 plus followers. Look at that. He just knows that off the top of his head. It's so weird. I'm gonna By the say, way, I, the, I'm not to interrupt you, but it's... Followers to me seems like if you have a million people, like would clout, even though, like, do they consider engagement? Like, there are things, yes. Do you I know what I mean? Do. Like, yes. how, how much people really care about you? Yes. Like, people follow Paris Hilton, but do they really care about her? Well, you know, in a way, I don't, I don't know if they can see inside the minds. Yeah. Of well, her. how would you but, measure that? But they could. I think they care more about connectivity about how much retweeting and how yes. much. Okay. Conversation is conversation. happening about okay. a person. Okay. Yes. Uh, how many how many times other people are invoking that person's name okay. rather than just the followers? Because you're right. like there's there's so many bots on Twitter oh, that God. like you, you know you can't really rely on that number alone to to tell you what's going on. I mean, yeah, it's people who thing. are engaging with you. That's what that's what they look at. Yeah, 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 yeah. and that's favorites and retweets and and right. at mentions and things like that. Right, that's, favorites. That's, that's another yeah. That's another big thing. Favoriting. If you if you consistently get a thousand favorites for every tweet then that's obviously going to make a difference i had an amanda Bynes impersonator follow me and start a conversation with me when all, when everything was going on some amanda Bynes, hmm. and i almost texted back i hope you're doing well like i don't want to make fun of amanda Bynes. like i feel bad for that kid yeah. like uh, yeah so, she's yeah and uh, it's weird i guess they're being funny but like i don't is there anything think, you won't make fun of i won't make fun probably not but okay. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, well, like all this stuff about rape jokes and all this that's going on lately. Is there anything taboo off the? I don't know. There, it's a good question. I don't know necessarily that there I mean, is. Even, even in, but even you just in have a, to make it funny. Even in an improv show, is, is is there like if you were in a scene and somebody? Oh, I've edited things like okay. this is going terrible, like whatever, or okay. it's just like you're posing a position that you don't really believe and it's all right, let's move on. Like, okay. But in the spirit of exploration, it's kind of like a writer's room. Like if you're on stage doing improv, it's kind of an extension. Like that's, let's riff on that. And then sometimes it goes to these awful places, not meaning to be, but it's just like, oh, that's a, like if it, if there's like five minutes of like shit comedy, it's like, all right, let's no, no more. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or if, so, if somebody's being like a pedophile guy, it's like, all right, that's too much. Do you know what I mean? But it does come up and you explore it and you try to get out. So I say no to things in that way. Okay. Is it, do you think it's two different? It, well, it is two different. Being a writer versus an improviser, because I wonder about that a lot. Like, 
a lot of the improv guys you see, I mean, that I know of, and maybe they're just behind the scenes, but you don't see them writing shows. Oh. Or, you know, maybe they are. Oh, they are. Yeah? They are. I, I just associate stand-up comics with the ones that always get these writing jobs no, on no, shows and shows. No, no, you're mistaken. Like okay. You're so mistaken. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot well, of TV look at, writers. Well, look at everybody on Conan. A lot of yeah. improvisers. Brian yeah. Stack, McCann, you know. Uh, it's different skill sets, though, right? What, improv and writing? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Sure. They are. Yeah. But, it, I mean, I don't, I don't have first-time experience, but it seems like a lot of writer's rooms operate a little bit like improv, where you're bouncing ideas around yeah. and you're just yeah. trying to find the best yeah. thing. I think, Yeah. And I, and I ultimately you can't, the one thing you can't teach is like somebody's point of view. Like there's a point of view that they want in that room. They want somebody who's subversive or, and not imitating that, but having a mind that's like akin to the comic, whatever Mm -hmm. vibe of the show or, or a joke writer, like simply, yeah, like a, that's a fascinatingly tight, a monologue, joke writer. Yeah. Yeah, And that's like stand up. a lot of stand ups can do that. Obviously the writer's room is true. Collaborative. And it, I think improv is a good skill or part of it. Do you, do you like the idea about the improv? Like, like you do a show and that's the only time that show's ever going to happen? Not really. <laughs> no? I would love if I used some yeah, of the ideas, yeah. but I'm too uh, busy to do that. Okay. Busy but, is the word? Yeah, I was going to say. I don't say lazy anymore. <laughs> People, <laughs> Morgan tells me I'm not lazy, so I believe awesome. her. Awesome. I believe her. So I don't You're a hardworking man. I don't say that anymore. What's his... Uh, the busiest you, you wanna, man in show business. I'm going to take a guess. Does everyone want to bet? I'm going to bet. I'm going to go 69. Up oh, top. Sexy number. <laughs> go, sexy Matt. Number. I'm, I'm going to uh, abstain from guessing. I'm going before. to say... Do you, do you want some, do you I'm want some say, context? Do you, like, do you want to know I'm say some other people's 77. Sure. I'm going to say 77. To make a game of it? Yeah, like let's say... No. I'm going to say no? 77. No you're, well, you're not guessing. So. The, the star of your show, back. the star of Veep, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, is 84. Oh, wow. Okay. Like Michael Ian Black and, and, and those kind of guys that have millions of followers are like in the 80s, 82, 83. I'm going to say Matt's 76, 77. 69. Because the people that he has following him are loyal. I'll go 68, just to beat Pat. Andy Richter, another one of... They list him as one of... Uh, I love Andy. Uh, they call him... Uh, an influencer in in your sort of sphere. He's eighty. He's eighty four. Oh, same as Julie, Julie Louis Dreyfus. Okay. And actually, Chris Hardwick's at eighty eight. If if you want to see the ceiling. Oh my god, <laughs> that's, that's, he's got to be really that's high, ridiculous. right? Yeah. No, he's very influential. Yeah, he's yeah. in the never heard of him internet sphere. <laughs> I believe you, but he's in the internet good. sphere. He's very. I mean, his podcast high. became a BBC show. It's true. That could happen to us, Pat. What? So. You said... I'm saying 66, 70, 76, 77. 76. I'm going to say 68 because Pat said 69. 69. The answer is 80. Wow. Wow. Boom. Wow. Thank you very much, America. <laughs> and thank you, Clout. I guess they're fans Don't of Don't get too close to Julian. You need to, you need to at 80. log Keep on 80. to Clout, sign in, and they give you perks. So, like, you can get coffee mugs and stuff like that. What? I don't want really? Free stuff? Yeah, I don't There's want swag that. on there. I'm going to get on there. There's, yeah, you need to. There's clout Who swag. Who influences me on clout? Let me ask Pretty you Pretty interesting. That. Okay. Horatio's at 82, by the way. He's he's in your uh, in your circle here. Awesome. Um, Richter, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. I think this is Jake Fogelnest, if I'm not mistaken. No? I don't know who that is. No name. Who is hmm. this? What's the picture? Maybe you can identify that. That's Fogelnest. It is. Okay, that's Jake Fogelnest. No he name. He influences me? Uh, I don't know if that if they mean it like back that. Back and forth between each other. Okay. It's just a lot of... age on the net? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the... You, you influence each other. Simon Blackwell. Oh, I love Simon. Um, oh, your co-star, Tim Simmons. Is it Simmons? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's 65. Sorry, Tim. <laughs> It's only 15 more. Jessica St. Clair. I mean, it's it's weird. It's not quite as... Like, you would think that Besser would be right there and, and uh, you know, people who you've been linked to what for really years. What really matters but. is where's Amy? <laughs> <laughs> Amy's 84 for sure. I don't at see least. her. I don't sure, think she's on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, she's, she's not on, on Twitter. Oh, it's Twitter look at look at, yeah. who's, look at who's there. Influenced. That's Alex. <laughs> Retweet a photo of that, there Alex. Take a picture of that. Screen cap of that. All right, Who's influenced by who? We gotta tweet that. Oh my God. Says Matt Walsh is influenced by. Uh, oh my I am well, Von Scott. He, no, he DM'd me a couple of times today. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> They're on it. They're inside our account. Oh my God! It's so they inside know baseball. We DM. It's so inside <laughs> baseball. Log off. Log <laughs> off. Matt, will you ever need a Twitter assistant? 
No. Okay. I don't think uh, I'm so. I don't sorry, think I Alex. Help you. I'm sorry. Uh, Alex. It crushes me. I don't think uh, you want to be a Twitter assistant uh, or or your assistant. And some, if you ever need any help with your social, if you need me uh, to do calendar, any clandestine uh, investigatory uh, uh, stuff, uh, or love uh, it. dog walks. Um, sure. He, he's got I a lot of dogs. free time. I'm just pitching him. Not that he needs a job. Or anything. Oh, I thought you just said that the other night in a drunken uh, haze. What? All that talk. You need a job? No, you brought up the, I'm going to make you Matt's assistant. I'm going to make you. <laughs> I'm going to make him hire you. He did. He All said right. That. He said, what do we need? I could run the calendar. He said I could run the calendar for him. run his calendar. You know, it's crazy. iCal? Yes. I don't use my iCal. Oh, my God. You need to. And you know what I did today? To, since we're on the internet topic, I had to, uh, we're flying on Virgin, so I had to get Elevate miles Virgin. or yeah. frequent flyer. They're called Elevate. So I got me and Morgan. I was already on board. I registered Morgan. And then uh, I wanted to do the kids, and they said, you can't use the same email address. And I called them. I'm like, I'm the kid's father. Can I have their Elevates registered to my account? They said, no, they need to have an email account. So I went to (laughs) Google, and I tried to get a Gmail for them. Oh, but you can't have to be 13. They're too young. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's weird, right? So then I had to lie, and I changed all their ages just to get them email accounts. Is that a crime? (laughs) On AOL, I just went to, and AOL yeah. was so much faster. Like Google had more questions, yeah, and they flunked me out once. So, so I'm like, f you. So I went back to my home AOL. Well, that's the question. Do you need to be truthful in the email? Because the email itself doesn't matter. It just they just need no. a reference. So yeah, it's, it doesn't matter if you lie in the email creation. Do you? Does it? I created the account. It probably is wrong or not wrong, but it I'm violates probably, their it account. violates their thing, and yeah. they could. Yeah, but otherwise, like, how can a company require you? To register kids' emails, basically, yeah, they're required. That's, that's impossible. Yeah. That's so basically, Steve, I'm telling Steve Fort that that is like force majeure. I'm going to get him. Uh, <laughs> gonna get Whatever him that means. That. <laughs> By the way, I don't think Amy Poehler is on Twitter, so I, I don't what? think she is. Can't find her cloud score. She doesn't exist. <laughs> All right, so let's. Uh, I guess it's time to wrap it up. What about, we got the big uh, comedy festival coming up this week, yeah. uh, June twelfth at. Uh, up Theater, Second City. Up Theater. I How many not people doing are talking it? to, by the way? And like, they, uh, is this really going to promote the show? To, if you listen to it and I listen to it, that's two. Basically, <laughs> 35. Just, we're going to put this just, out and then you're going to promote this. <laughs> yes. And then this will promote that. Listen, Dave Dave Stassen <laughs> over, overplayed his hand. I'm going to be honest. He, made us, he, he we really he got us a, a lot of hits. He okay. got us a lot of hits. And do that. You might get the cross link with my e link to my. That's the one I wanted to trade. What was that thing I was on on the internet? Please do. Copyright. Oh, Oh, the red red eye. Red eye. Put me on the red eye. Cross link tab something. And then you got you got <laughs> the uh, you, right you just you just you know tweeted out the Del Close show and somehow yeah. Del Close that this and we'll I'll put that as the yeah. June twenty eighth logo. Uh, yeah, to June thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it's twenty four hours. Seventy two hours. Seventy two hours. Like I went five to, stages. I'm scrolling through this uh, fucking calendar of stuff. I'm looking for the shows Mets and I'm like, oh my god, it's going twenty four hours a day. It's crazy. Like five stages. It's Jeez pretty bananas. Christ. Fifteenth annual, and we're going to do a documentary about it. Why ask at oh, cool. 3,000? What is that? Awesome. Uh, just, I don't know why. Yeah. Just right. dumb reasons. Did you do anything at the IO Comedy Festival? No. Wasn't Never Not Funny there? or No. You sure? Did you ever do the Just for Laughs? Wait a minute. Nope. Sure no? sure about that? No. Really? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. I think it was there yesterday. You Where guys have done you? Aspen. Did you do Aspen ever? Nope. No? J- Jimmy's done Aspen. Okay, Jimmy's done Aspen. We, okay. We've done Have you done Sketch Never Fest Not Funny? And, oh, Sketch Fest. Uh, up there. Bumbershoot. Have you done Never oh, Not Bumbershoot's Funny? Bumbershoot's a great one. Yeah. What? Did you do Never yeah, Not Funny? I've done it a few times. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. He's he Long and Jimmy. Time. Yeah, he and Jimmy go way back. Are you going to get, listener. are you going to, are you going to be in one of these pictures? Actually. Are you going to get Pat and I on the uh, podcast-a-thon this year? Um, you know, I don't really make those decisions. <laughs> Pat, oh, that's just good. Be, be around. Show slick. Show I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> that's no. straight face. I'm busy whenever it is, by the way. <laughs> Not enough heat. It's the, it's the day after Thanksgiving. Well, what you if they're clout? Like 24 hours. I'm in Chicago. If, you get, if your clout goes over 70, then call me. Oh, my God. I'm going to do that. You I'm going to buy say, followers. You yeah. should say nobody on our lineup can be below like 51. Well, that is that is a... Just go hard. That's unwritten. You, you, it's you, unwritten. Yeah, that's unwritten. You don't have a pulse if you're under 50. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sorry. I'm right here. Oh, I'm right but here. That may not necessarily be true because if like Amy, who's very famous, right, right. if she's not even on that's Twitter, she point. might not have a good cloud yeah. score. Yeah, yeah. It's very specific to social media presence, and that's not everybody's bag. Yeah. And thank God, because that's a really weird thing to be uh, your thing. And yeah. For some people, it's great, but you know, it doesn't have to be... Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I, that's going to be if we're plugging things. Day after Thanksgiving, 
podcastathon 2013. It's always fun. I'm it's always fun. I'm in Chicago, man. I'm listening to this later in my car. Oh, I got to remember that. <laughs> so Might as well say Matt. In six months. Don't forget to put your calendar. <laughs> I feel like we asked Alex. You. Alex, write that down for him. I'll be in uh, Chicago that day, Matt, so I can't. Let's yeah, give each other messages. That's the thing. Just email this directly to Matt. <laughs> Matt is always this in show. Chicago for Thanksgiving, right? Burn we feel like we ask you. I generally am, yeah. yeah. I really am. So, so am I, Matt. Just, just burn this on a CD for Matt. Matt right now. <laughs> so burn a, I'll wait here for the CD. Just burn me a CD. Or, and, uh, yeah. last, and, last point, this uh, kid I met, yeah, or I know him, uh, he was transporting a new album, like Jack White's new album, to take to the place where they're going to print it into a hard thing, oh, wow. either vinyl, uh-huh. probably few vinyl, but CDs they still make. He literally was just transporting a CD in a case. That's all they send to the... Wow. Because maybe that holds all the information they can use for that thing anyway. Yeah, yeah. But in that very, it seems like today they would have just like a chip or something. Or a digital file. So wait, it was an actual CD? Yeah. Saying? Yeah, that's weird. I mean, I, I think maybe because they have to make it in the exact form Compressed. it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, right. Because with music, it's going to be a lot more information before it gets uh, shrunk down yeah, and, and onto you, a CD. And you lose quality transferring so much, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. So that was that's so that was like the master, basically. Yeah. Which in every generation of media, I think there is some form of the master, but just this generation happens to be a CD. Still, though, I was surprised yeah. that, and maybe Jack White's retro or something, but st- I well, I actually, I would it'd be think, a thumb drive that they're walking yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. I would actually, I, I'm almost surprised that it's not on like analog tape for the record because you would think he would want to have an all analog. Uh, yeah. Sound? Yeah, like no digital generation from the recording to the printing. Acetate. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buried in the think. mountains in Utah like the Scientologists yeah. do? Yeah. So, All right. so what is, how does that, does he just Upper work for Jack White? He's an uh, intern at a, uh, he's in college. He's, a, uh, he's an intern at a music label, Brush Fire or somebody just letting like letting some intern carry this thing Yeah, around. well, he's higher up. He's like oh, okay. a more trusted intern, he said. <laughs> he's making fun of himself. But I think he's like sort of trusted. But it was that thing of like, dude, that's like the classic. Yeah, fuck up. Leave this on a coffee the, table. Leave it in yeah. a cab. Yeah. yeah, yeah, It's like the start of an Ocean's Eleven movie. <laughs> yeah, losing the print. Yeah, yeah. that ha- isn't there. A, there is a. Fan. I'm sure Frank would know. That's a good Frank question. All right, he'll Call be back. back. Frank Pesh Call will be back, back. <laughs> next week. Thank you again for listening to Matt. Frankly Speaking, Matt Walsh. Matt, thanks for listening. <laughs> thanks well, for thank being you, Matt. Here. <laughs> Uh, don't forget we don't to have take to put- the garbage out on Mondays, <laughs> Matt. Matt <laughs> Belknap, thank you. Alex, I am Ben Strohein at Twitter. Uh, just want to shout out to my nephew. About so, uh, 50. Jude Nemet. It was my birthday this week. Uh, I'm still waiting. <laughs> they didn't You're step listening. Up. I reminded him today. They're still not interested. <laughs> anything. Anything is. Being honest. Are you a good stupid. uncle? Do you give them big presents for their birthdays and stuff? I'm the best He's uncle. a great uncle. He's a good uncle. He's a great Like uncle. train sets and stuff. Uh, nothing I don't have to build. No. <laughs> Matt can do that. But yeah. no, I'm a good uncle. There's other things to being a good uncle, Matt. Yeah. No, Spending I Spending time. But, but making it, him listen to podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> teaching him Showing comedy. Showing how to re-download the podcast yes, to boost the numbers yes. a little bit. Bragging about your prowess with, <laughs> with the With my ladies. <laughs> making him repeat Pat, Uncle Pat, all the ladies love you so now the kids say oh the ladies don't like you uncle pat like that's their joke to him and it hurts and it really hurts hurts more from a kid created an adversarial relationship with the new generation love them all and he's a godfather a couple times yeah a couple times there you go are you a godfather anybody no all right i was best man at four weddings by the way am i good are you a good godfather yeah i think so good i try i'm not good (laughs) <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm okay. Do you I'm give him a little good. extra love when you I see him? I try to when I see him. You like treat him a I, little I more him, like a kid. I throw money or books at him when I see him. <laughs> or oh, a yeah. car. Or a car. I gave a car to my one godson. What? That was good. Well, it was like an old shitty car. <laughs> but it ran for like nine months. Nice. It was a Toyota Camry that had 223,000 miles yeah. on it. And only three payments left. <laughs> no, no. It was well owned. It was well owned. It was like 1997. All right. Okay. Uncle Matt, you're the best. Come on. <laughs> Uncle Matt, the ladies love you. All right. They all love you. All right, we did it. Thanks, Thank Matt you guys. Walsh. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Thanks, guys. It's a wrap. Oh, Thank you, Pat. Boom.